Let's talk about food and talk about it in terms of two attributes. Not messy or messy, bad tasting or delicious. And so we draw on one axis, we say delicious. And so as we go in this direction, food's getting more and more delicious. <clears throat> and in this direction, we'll say not messy. So as we go in this direction, it gets less and less messy. So let's say down here, maybe watermelon all the way up here, M&M's, not very messy. And so we're able to divide this into four parts. So when we go into the upper right-hand quadrant here, we have food that is delicious, not messy. What could you think that's like that? Delicious and not messy. Maybe a steak, an apple. What about this quadrant in the lower right here, this lower right hand quadrant? What would we say about it? Well, so this quadrant is still delicious, but it's messy. What would be a food like that? Maybe barbecue ribs. Delicious, but messy. What about in this quadrant up here? So this is food that it's not delicious, but at least it's not messy. So an example of that, maybe it would be rutabagas. So there we have our rutabaga. It's not delicious, but at least it's not messy. What about this last quadrant here? Well, in terms of delicious, it's not so delicious. In terms of not being messy, it's rather messy. So what would fit into this? Not delicious, but messy. Hmm. Well, uh, you certainly couldn't put watermelon in here, which is messy, but uh, most people would agree, agree is rather delicious. Um, well, for right now, I'll have to think about it, but I'll just put in mulberries, which I don't think are that good tasting, and they, get, they turn your hands red when you try to eat them.